Hey, my powerful, brilliant, sexy ass Virgos. Welcome to Virgo Intuition. First and foremost, I wanna say I love you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and um, we just counting these blessings. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this energy. This is gonna be a love reading just to see what spirit has for us. Most high when it's dealing with our Virgos. Ooh, what is it that our Virgos should know? Okay, so the first three cards that I have is not today. I feel like there's an energy of uh, either you want to reach out to somebody or somebody wants to reach out to you, Virgo. I feel like you really don't want to talk to this individual person. It's like uh, avoidance. I don't want to say like you're avoiding them, but I feel like it's more of protecting your energy because whoever this is that's trying that wants to contact you, I feel like they want to get your attention somebody wants your attention and i feel like you've been uh avoiding uh giving this person your attention because this individual could be very draining or just not really where you want to be with them and it's like you know you don't want maybe there's a situation where you still could feel uh angry about or you're just really healing from and 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 i feel like um or this is just you setting up healthy boundaries, but there's somebody that's trying to reach out to you. But I do feel like with this lightning here, I feel like somebody is gonna pop up unexpectedly somewhere or or you're gonna get a shocking surprise about some something dealing with someone you really don't wanna talk to because you are you are really setting up boundaries with them, not not communicating. I feel like this is like a well, I'm I'm just removing my energy from somebody that didn't appreciate it, and this person is uh, I'm 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 getting crazy, 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 just to thinking about you, baby, baby. Somebody's going mentally insane, not being able to communicate with you because they they feel like they lost that opportunity to to have access to you. And right now I do see this individual is now becoming the chaser. So if maybe at one particular time, this particular person you were actively going after, you were actively trying to communicate, trying to get a connection going. And I feel like this person did not uh, reciprocate or respect the time that you were giving to them. And now it's like, now they're on your time, which you really have no time for them. Now they feel some type of way uh they they are chasing they have this chaser energy now they feel like they that you're abandoning them and they want to come towards you Virgos. <laughs> it's like this individual wasn't respecting your 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 space or your time when you were trying to give it to them now that you're pulling back now that you have pulled back your energy person can't stop thinking about you and now they are in that energy of feeling like they need to chase you i do see right here this situation to you is dead and gone that's another reason why you don't care to talk to this person because you feel like what was what's understood don't have to be said and what was said is already done so it's like why are you even reaching out it's over this person's having closure issues <clears throat> I do see right now, uh, right now, Virgos, I do see a lot of dating coming in right now. And I can't even say a lot. I feel like um, there's that for, for those that are, not, okay, first, whoever that, I feel like for those who are not in relationships or even care to be in one, Spirit says that right now you have so many people that are trying to get your attention. I feel like uh, you could be dating right now, but I do, I also feel like there is a commitment coming in towards you. Yeah, because Virgos right now, I feel like you're a very hot commodity. And um, and I feel like people are just trying to take you out. Let's set up days. I, so many, I hear a lot of y'all turning shit down. Like, like no, nah, because I feel like some of the people that are trying to take you out, you don't even see any type of uh, connection. And, and for some of you guys, I feel like you're just going on dates with some people just, you know, to get out the house or something like that. But I do feel that dating is very much present around you you have a lot of people that want your attention right now because you're fucking glowing with your beautiful selves and um also feel like this other person who is trying to 
this other person who is trying to come in or back in that you don't want to fuck with they are they are feeling the energy of you closing off everything and also they they know it's something that they're seeing this person is watching you they are seeing the options that you have i feel like as they begin to chase you they start uh reflecting on the things on their life this person is starting to realize how um maybe abusive they were to you mentally emotionally and could be physically and, and this person is um getting like hoping and praying and wishing that you will give them another chance but from the looks of it you like no because this person sabotaged the situation with you so bad that it's like it's like the point of no return yeah this person was a soul connection but i feel like you learned your lesson and now you like shit next contract <laughs> virgo like um next contract because that shit is over with <laughs> lesson learned <laughs> so hold on why is this energy moving faster mm -hmm. so <clears throat> what i'm getting here not only is uh this person here is 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 rushing in. I'm getting the Knight of Swords energy. They're not really focused on what they want to do or say. They just know that you are uh, removing your energy from them. And this person is very much embarrassed. This person is embarrassed over their actions because whatever they have been reflecting on, they are starting to really see um, how they messed up something good. And it's because of your evolution. You've changed so much that you triggered this person to change. And not just that, but they had, uh, it was something about the connection they had with you that really put this person's um, true identity in front of them. Because Virgos, believe it or not, people create illusions that they begin to believe because they have the, the this world they've created, created around them to to uh, clarify or support the bullshit that they be creating. You heard what I said. And, and I feel like right now, whatever that energy was between the between the both of you, the connection, like now that you have moved and ele uh, uh, elevated, it's kind of like, I can't say it was Virgo because Virgo is glowing up. Virgo is making shit happen. Virgo is moving on up to the east side. And I'm still in the same predicament. So this person is embarrassed and they're just trying to rush in to see if they can get anything. But like I said, Virgos, your energy is this shit is done. Complete lesson learned. You like can't don't pass go. Don't collect two hundred dollars. Bitch, you land on my property, you gonna have to pay me. <laughs> it's like you Virgo, whoever this person is, you is not fucking with them. Not fucking with them, and then right here with this chasers, re yeah, somebody reminiscing return. They, they 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 keep reminiscing, wanting to return. This is like they're very still much in their codependent energy. This person feels like you abandoned them because you wasn't taking their bullshit. And right now, it's kind of like they're just stuck in their head. On I wish I could have, would have, but I didn't. But I have a, a strong feeling this person is about to experience you being loved by somebody else but they are trying to be on their way real fast all right Virgo, that's all i got for you bye family i love you